first things first you simply want to go to google and look for forge 1.12.2-14.23.5.2847 universal and of course i'll put that in the description um, the first one is the minecraftforge.net and you basically get a screen with several installers you just want the installer uh, because it's a jar file you get a warning because javascript is a um, unsafe executable but that's absolutely fine because you know exactly what's in there okay once you've downloaded it you will go show in folder and you'll see the installer you just want to cut the file or move it or copy it whatever you want i just use cut because i don't want to have any residue in my download and then let's make a new folder a minecraft server or name it whatever you like and paste the folder right there now you can simply call it server because you don't really need to keep the name as it is windows has a built-in command prompt called powershell and we want to use it for that now when you right click you see uh, the normal screen but when you hold shift and right click you'll see an extra option called open powershell window here and we want to do that now powershell will open and as you can see it's a very simple command prompt and you're in c and your server now the next command is a bit tricky because you want to install the server and what we do is we do the java call we give it your memory you want to sign just one gigs uh, you call it a jar file and then you do server for jar uh, no gui and then install server then minecraft will start installing the server for you so once you see the command prompt again and you can type again you can just go back to the server and you'll see uh, several files let's let's run this forge and we kind of want to do that in powershell so we just copy paste the forge is We'll keep almost the same command, but we give it a little bit more gigs if you have it. And you basically do this command. And that will run the required jar. And of course, all the commands are in the description. So if you run this one, it will probably whine about uh, ULA being wrong. And it will create the ULA for you to um, activate. It's just an extra security. You just grab the EULA and all you have to do is you change that to true. That's really easy, right? So then you save it and you close it. Then you just go back to PowerShell and you just do arrow up. And you'll see the last command you typed and you'll just press enter again. Now it has the EULA and it will actually work. So now it will start installing the server. Now of course this will take a while. And... Once this is complete, you just have a simple forge server, which you don't want, of course. After that's done, when you see unloading dimension, the server is actually started and you would be able to set, for example, time set day. And that will just work because your uh, server already runs forge, but it will be just plain Minecraft. Well, then you go to build the earth discord and you look under info and you'll see a new projection pack, which you'll need as well. Well, for now, let's extract them in the download map and you can do extract files if you have WinRAR or WinZip or whatever, just in the same location. What you don't want to do is you want to follow the steps from the official Discord all the way up to six. So after it's installed, you'll find it on the My Mod Packs where it's installing. And you'll see two now, but I have, um, of course, I will delete this one later, but I just want a clean install because the other one is not clean. And you'll see all this kind of stuff. You'll see the mods and everything. So that's really great. And what you just want to do is you want to take everything. You want to copy it. And you want to go to your server. And you want to just paste it in there. As you can see it will just overwrite. And for everything in the mod folder, it will overwrite that as well. So when we go back to our PowerShell, we're simply going to run the server and don't forget the same command. And let's see what's happening now. Now, as you can see, there are several things with cubic chunks uh, made and set, etc. So that's all going to be really interesting. Um, the server has several files made right now. So let's see if we run the projection, if we can actually 
uh, get anything going right now. Now, if you would log in now, it, you'd just get an error. So we forgot one really important thing. And that is namely, we never added the overrides to the server. So let's stop the server. And you want to make sure the overrides that you just downloaded still needs to be added to your own server. And these are actually in these. Um, so you want to extract the files just to this place. It doesn't really matter. And so we have these overrides and the config and the mods you can just grab and you, you uh, copy them and then you go to your Minecraft server and you just paste them, replace all. However, the saves are going to be a little bit different. You're going to open the map, you're going to the data, you can just copy it inside. Then you go to world and you're going to paste it there. You're going to replace everything. Now then it's really important that if you started a server, you remove all the other folders, especially player data. If you are unable to delete the files, make sure you stop the server first, of course. So you want to make sure the world map is empty and you just paste everything in there, right there. Let's start the server now. You will see some warnings, but they are not that important. Now, and then you see the orientation is all right. And it has to be, it is forced to make a new dimension, but we just need to get rid of the player data, of course, because that's not correct. So let's go back to multiplayer. You see a nice earth symbol now, let's enter. And let's see if we actually spawn on the mushroom biome. If you haven't removed the player data, you will not spawn on the mushroom biome. You will spawn wherever you were. But of course we spawn perfectly on a mushroom biome. Well, technically you spawn on a croissant, but on the net it's mushroom biome. Now you probably know by now how to um, TPL. So if you want to go to your um, city important building, you see in the title bar always the location. Just copy paste it, one dash and let's go. Now if you can't use the command, you just want to make sure you obey someone. That's not my name. You want to obey someone <laughs> and you want to make sure now you can actually use the command and there you go. And that's really important because then you can have builders, you can uh, teleport them to you and mm, game mode one. And now you can use uh, start adding other mods etc. I usually do it like this. And for example, I know this is the correct area because this is the market square which is a really massive part and then at the end you will find um, the town hall. So I know I'm at the correct place. And then you can start building on the right project projection actually. Of course, world edit will just work fine. You can see. Um, expand. Expand and then set for the path. See? That absolutely works fine. undo okay um so that that is that and you can do anything as op and then when you invite someone you see there is actually um they're not op so you can control who enters and who not so that's really important so that's how i like to do it now i do suggest a replay mode, etc however if you don't want to have a local so if you want to have a local you can't have this one of course you will need to port forward your well, you always open your router with 192.168.11.1 and my uh, data is actually on the back of the modem so it's really easy well it's going to be different for everyone but you have to look for the port forwarding and there you'll see uh, which host you want to set up for dedicated so you must make sure minecraft has a 25565 port which you want to add and what I personally did was this and this and this. And then people can actually join you from your external IP, which is not, of course, 192.168.11.12, but is your external IP using the port 25565. But you need to open your port. So that's really important to do that, actually. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Just go to what's my IP. 
and you simply paste that to 5565 and if that's done you'll see the same server but then with your external ip and people can join through your external ip on the same server as well so that's going to work perfectly of course the mods you want to install are all client sites you want to put in optifine replay mod uh, optifine you're going to need for shaders etc uh, i added light loader but i'm not using it um I like replay mod. Broad edit CUI Forge is really important. It will help you make chunks. Just make sure you always stop your ser server when you leave. Just keep it clean. Don't just shut down stuff and lose data, etc. Now, then lastly, in my real server, I made a little batch file. So it just creates a little beautiful executable which opens PowerShell automatically and runs your server. And how you're going to do that is really simple. What you're going to need is a Windows batch file. So it's really for Windows and you call it run. And how to make a batch file is actually you open notepad and you simply put in this command PowerShell space dash command and then your command uh, to run the server. I'll put that in the description as well, of course. And then you save it. Save as run all files run point bat because it's a bat file let me save it as run two just to show you and as you can see you have now a batch file windows batch file which is just an executable of course you can um you can send that to your desktop to create a sh shortcut then you have this little thing and if you really bored you can just give it any icon you want now, despite you calling it PowerShell, it does open in command prompt, unless you would set it to PowerShell. And as you can see, it just automatically opens the command prompt and starts your server. Really simple. Now you wait for it to load. This is my real world. So it's going to be a bit different. And this is my server. It has all the shaders and everything done. I use clarity, which I really love. And when you go to video settings, you'll see You'll see my shaders as well, Silver Vibrant Shaders, just medium. I don't want to press my own computer because I'm most of the time just streaming, running the server and playing on the same PC. So I don't want to overdo that. It's done. You get to multiplayer, Minecraft server. It's my external IP. I remove my internal. And you see instantly Reaper I rejoined the game on your console or your name, of course, with the IP logged in. So that's really it might lag a little bit when somebody joins for the first time because they have to load everything up first um, so you might see some can't keep up but then later when you're in game and you just start playing um, it's usually when you start playing as you can see that's it's pretty heavy with the shaders etc it's pretty op and when you just play on your own server you can do whatever you want you can op someone the op you can and you have full control over what you do all through your console and if i would set the time time set 5000 for example and you will see it instantly in your server as well that the server through the console is actually setting time or clear <laughs> you can do anything from your server file as well so that's really working perfectly and you can also de-op all players etc so that's really interesting so world edit cui is so important because you select something and for example you select this point and you see exactly what you have selected and if you then just look the direction you want to expand very simple expand one and then it's it's actually expanded one to the back but if you want to expand up you just look up and you do expand 40 and then you see you have a massive selection perfectly done and that way you can just simply know exactly what to do with it. So that is um, CY for you. You can see the server can just do anything you like. Well, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And I'll see you next time. So that's really nice. So that's pretty much all I wanted to tell you about the server setting up and everything. And uh, good luck.